Good morning, dear children. Welcome to you in today's lecture of English. Dear student, as uh, you know that we have already started the question answers of this lesson. I give unbelievable in previous lecture. So now in today's le lecture, let we are going to just continue it. So student, first four, first four question that has been already done. Now the fifth one is remain of question number C two. So just take out your book and open your book page number twenty nine. So here you can see. Uh, the fifth one question: How do you know that the narrator did not like being called the genius? As we already seen, that she doesn't like to uh, being uh, being called a genius one. She doesn't like that somebody uh, that anyone called her as a genius one because she knows it well that she is not having any quality uh, quality of genius one. So let us see the answer. We know it because the narrator started feeling bored because. Uh, she feel burden. She feel like she uh, she is burden as she has to lead up to the turn. And as everybody started to call her as a genius one, so she has to lead up. She has to lead up to the turn. Whatever the consequences of being called a genius was being split into a science. And when everybody started to call her as a genius one, so in the in it, it means now she has to. Take or she has to go in a science stream, and she doesn't like. She doesn't want to take, and she doesn't want to take admission in science stream. So that's why she didn't enjoy this. At the end of the story, she also declares that the test which declares her a genius had a devastating effect on her. So at the end, also she declares that the test which declared the test which is declared and One just only a single test is change her life. So, which we hear her genius had devastating effect on her. So we could say that it's not a good effect on her because she doesn't want to take admission in science stream. So students, just I'll give the answer. Just note it down in your notebook. We know it because the narrator started feeling burden as she has to leave up to the turn. Whatever. Offer 
Now, let me see the next one. Fall into the wrong hands. Fall into the wrong hands.
but hard to get out again but hard to get out again so here we have completed question number d phrases for a wrong hands means kisi galat person ke hath mein lag jana example so you must not let these documents fall into the wrong hands we do not have to just keep our documents we must not have to just let these documents in the wrong hands matlab hame ye document kisi galat insaan ke hath mein nahi lagne chahiye hamare ye documents kisi galat insaan ke hath mein nahi lagne chahiye next fall into a trap means fall into a difficult situation to fall into a difficult situation it is easy to fall into fall into trap it is easy to fall into a trap but it is hard to get out again maximum sometimes what happen we just fall into any some anyone's trap hum kisi ke jaal mein phans jate but it is ye utna hi aasan hota hai kisi ke jaal mein phans jana but it's difficult to just get out from that situation lekin us situation se bahar nikalna utna hi mushkil hota hai so here we have written the meaning of samadhyams as well as the sentence also i hope student you have done it well now let me see now let me see the one more example which is given on your book page number 29 find words from the text that mean the same as these words here you can see some words are given and what we have to do we have to just find out the word meaning from the lesson so here you can see some words that is given and we have to just find out the similar meaning that is given in the lesson so the first one as you can see prodigy prodigy the first one word prodigy prodigy means genius what is the mean by prodigy means genius and the genius word is given in the lesson next wonderful means wondrous next infectious means infectious disease means contagious disease which is spread with the contact next disapproval disapproval means protestations and intensely enthusiastic intensely enthusiastic means passionate uh, someone is passionate about any work now stupid stupid dumb form as you can see the first letter of the given word is already allowed uh, is given here now we have to just find out the similar meaning from the text which is provided and it will be the same next shocking surprising shocking surprising means awesome what is the mean by shocking surprising yes it means awesome next develop means horn what is the mean by develop develop means horn now so just note it down this first question in your book first of all then you will have to just make it complete in your notebook So the first one, genius. Second, wondrous. Third, contagious. Fourth, protestation. Words you can see in the option. 
so from that option you have to just uh, see uh, that word and you have to just find out the opposite word of that given uh, which is given in that box and after find after searching what you have to do you have to just make a box then you have to just find out the opposite words from the grid this is the first one we have to you and now the second one make three words for each prefix given here make three words which for uh, which words for uh, each prefix given here so here uh, here uh, some prefix you can see which are given now you have to just form three words for each prefix so it will be easy uh, it is also very much easy you can do it very well so student it's your today so work to complete exercise b and c in exercise b and c in your notebook Bye-bye.